What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jean here with another day off of video for you. Kind of speed walking a little bit here. Wasn't planning on making a video. Was on my way to just get a normal haircut. And I'm seeing all sorts of craziness happening up the road. So I figured maybe we need to go check it out. Fire trucks and all sorts of stuff. Michael's restaurant in New Philadelphia, Ohio. Not sure what the heck's going on, but doing all sorts of things trying to stay out of the way just kind of hanging back but there's a lot of people right up in front of the restaurant and they're just chilling outside like it's nothing so alrighty what in the world is going on So now we got like a bunch of firefighters and then the cops who block the street off down here. What the heck is going on? Well, but you can see a whole row of people at the restaurant just chilling out. Like, what the heck, man? It's like not too serious. At the same time, anything to do with fire, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it must be uh, okay for them to hang out because. Yeah, and they're not telling me to walk away. I know this isn't your normal style content for me, but like I said, I was ready to get a routine haircut and all of a sudden we've got this. They're like putting stuff up against the door. Michael's Restaurant, New Philadelphia. It's a uh, mom and pop shop owned diner. And so, firefighters are just out here on the scene. Okay, something's going on. What are they doing? I thought maybe they're gonna break the door down or something. And uh, with my years in media training, I don't want to speculate, so I don't know what's going on right now, guys. But I don't want to give you a uh, false narrative here. But just hanging out, seeing what's going on. Give it up for these first responders though, they got out here quick. Just uh, smash that door in. 
they're going up into like a unit. I don't know if that's the a separate apartment beside Michael's, maybe. I don't know. Again, I don't want to give you guys any I don't want to give you guys any news if it's not real. Maybe it's a smoke alarm or something, but I don't want to speculate too much. So I'm just gonna like sit over here. So I'm just gonna sit over here because it doesn't seem to be anything serious. People leaving now, people hanging at the fire chief truck. Huh. We're all out here, man. I'm just getting closer because everybody else is just chilling. Zoom in on the unit over here, see what's going on. We went up there. Folks are laughing and hanging out. So it must not be too serious at all, really. Probably just a smoke alarm or something went off or a little emergency trip or something, but you can never be too careful. I'd like to get a word from one of these guys. Out here on the scene. <laughs> well, pretend journalism. Years ago, I used to have to do radio reports on stuff like this and uh, didn't get out in the field like the TV reporters did. So, this is, this is cool. This is the one we'll zoom in for you guys. Look at that. Look at the lifts. They're keeping it stable, keeping it even. Awesome. Closing that door back up now, so wonder if we're about done here. The road is blocked off still. Nothing serious, huh? What's that? Said nothing serious, huh? Could have been. been. It was really close, yeah. Really? Yeah, I was at the barber, getting ready to go to the barber shop, and I saw you guys fly in. I was like, wow. What the heck is that? Oh. Rally. Can I take a picture of that? Video? Yeah. Wow. These old buildings. Yeah. These old buildings. So many voids in these. The fire gets going in one of those. Yeah. We don't have enough people. People are prepared to pass. Right at once, yeah. yeah. Wow. So that uh, nice gentleman from the fire department, really cool, let me take a video of it. Um, it was a burn up wall socket and he said it could have been potentially pretty bad. So they had to throw as much manpower as they could because they don't have a, a whole lot of manpower, you know, to go for all these things. So when something happens, they just got to kind of all hands on deck. That is intense, you guys. And then some guy was just talking to me just now. He's coming here to eat breakfast and now. He's, he's more important. He's more uh, ready to find his crew and find somewhere else to eat now. But that's wild, you guys. They're getting ready to take off now. 
with the guy from the fire department in this truck here nice enough he he gave me permission to take video pictures and stuff like that so check it out day off the day off scoop <laughs> i don't know what to call it but they're getting ready to get out of here you guys could have been bad all right you guys well they're getting ready to take off now they're just doing some final base touching so i'm going to go back to get my hair cut this is all it was going to be it was a normal haircut kind of day but uh yeah impromptu video impromptu wannabe journalism didn't want to speculate but that guy cleared the air big big shout out to the uh fine folks of the new philadelphia fire department for acting quick as first responders do and you know getting in here and figuring out the situation and doing everything very calmly you know like i said that laughter didn't seem like it was going to be too serious but these guys are pros they they're just calm and that's good that's what you need in this business or that business you know so uh i guess we'll catch you on the next one <laughs>